Three Palestinian college students are still in recovery months after they were shot in Burlington. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Kat Villianzoni. And I'm Darren Perrin. The alleged gunman is expected back in Chittenden County Court tomorrow. Channel 3's Cam Smith is live where the shooting happened. Cam, what can you tell us? Yeah, Kat and Darren, 48-year-old Jason Eaton has been behind bars since November after police say he was the man responsible for shooting those three college students outside of this apartment on North Prospect Street. Now, there's still many questions about whether there was a motive behind this shooting. Since his arraignment in late November, Jason Eaton has been held in prison on three counts of attempted murder. The shooting happened on a Saturday night on North Prospect Street when Tashin Ahmed, Kanan Abdelhamid, and Hisham Awartani were out for a walk. Police say the men are all of Palestinian descent and two were wearing traditional headdresses or kafiyas and speaking Arabic. However, police have maintained there is no additional information surrounding this as a potential motive. The triple shooting prompted an outpouring of condemnation from the community, demanding authorities investigate it as a hate crime. Although we do not yet have evidence to support a hate crime enhancement, I do want to be clear that there is no question this was a hateful act. That was state's attorney Sarah George in a press conference after the arrest. According to legal experts, proving the elements of a hate crime can be extremely difficult and requires sufficient evidence relating to what was recovered during a search warrant or based on statements the suspect made to police. Police say they stumbled upon 48-year-old Jason Eaton during a routine canvas at 69 North Prospect, where the shooting took place. The affidavit says Eaton told police he'd been waiting for them and asked for a lawyer. In his apartment, police matched a gun and ammunition to bullets found at the crime scene. Now, Eaton has requested to be in person for his status conference in Chittenden County Criminal Court tomorrow. Both sides will meet in front of a judge to discuss the next steps in the case. And if, if he is convicted, Eaton faces 20 years to life in prison. Live in Burlington, Cam Smith, Channel 3 News. Cam, thank you.